Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing. I am tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the Walden Tribute to the Chronograph Chronometer. It was also launched in 2016 as a 100-piece limited edition under the name S2 Titanium Chronograph. And frankly, both monikers are fitting, but this is a watch where the story behind the timepiece is arguably just as important as the hardware. Now, I knew that there was an Oscar Walden scholarship through the New York Horological Society for up-and-coming watchmakers. I did not immediately connect the dots between the brand and the man, and the man's story is unbelievable. Oscar Walden was born in Poland in 1923, and he survived through a succession of concentration camps. He was Jewish and he was imprisoned by the Nazis and incredibly learned the trade of watchmaking through a Czech watchmaker who was also at the camp who took him under his wing as an apprentice and he survived the Holocaust fixing watches at the camp. Watchmaking is hard enough to learn under the best circumstances. Doing it at a concentration camp that's a hell of a story, and it continues. He later emigrated to the United States, where he created the white label manufacturer and sales organization Walden International in 1979. Still a watchmaker, he also became a businessman brokering sales, bringing watches into the country, and connecting movement manufacturers with brands, also building watches, white label for retailers and brands that wanted a box stock package they could carry out the door and sell with their name on it. It was in the early 2000s that he combined with his son Andrew to create what we now know as the Walden watch brand. And he passed away in 2018 after a long life of watchmaking and watch selling with a special focus on chronographs and that's where this watch comes in as it was designed jointly by both Oscar and Andrew and you can see the watch is attractive when I first encountered it I was struck by the quality of the parts used a lot of that relates to the movement but it's also the design it's not generic 42 millimeters in DLC coated titanium you can see it includes pleasing elements like lugs broken out from the case band vertical satination, which is unusual in a case profile, a little bit of a teardrop under tuck and fluting to the lugs, and a double gadroon twin step to the bezel. 42 millimeters in diameter. It's not particularly thin, but it's also not excessively thick. 14.4 millimeters thick, 51.7 from lug to lug. It's got nice contemporary 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. It is a 100 piece limited edition. And it's a bit unusual by Walden standards because the brand typically makes watches in precious metals. So it's very light on the wrist being all titanium and sapphire. Weight isn't really a factor here, though size is. At almost 52 millimeters from lug to lug, I would say my wrist is probably the smallest that can wear it effectively. It looks good, it fits good, but you're going to have substantial overlap of the lugs beyond your wrist if your wrist is smaller than mine. It will fit underneath the jacket cuff, even though it's fairly sheer in profile. The strap is high grade, large rectangular scale alligator leather, black semi gloss. The scales are large and symmetrical, which usually indicates a high quality and expensive cut of the material. Material. There's a monotone stitch. You can see in profile sheer cut to show the layers of leather. There's some bolstering or stuffing adjacent to the lugs to add some volume. Calfskin on the bottom. You can see this is a brand new Walden factory strap. No crimping, no gouging. And the DLC titanium case is matched with a DLC titanium buckle, also Walden branded. You can see in profile we have an adjuster that allows you to correct the day of the week. This is a 7751 in chronometer grade, so a very high grade 7750 with full calendar and moon phase complications. The dial is matte black, which is nice because it makes for high contrast, and Walden in general is known for calendar chronographs, so this is very much on brand for them. You can see there there are shear guards for the rectangular profile chronograph pushers, and we do have a Walden branded crown. Everything's matte finished, either a media blast or satination, so it's not ostentatious. We'll do a quick loom shot here. Watch actually is quite well loomed, and I have a 
novelty that Sean from our video department gifted to me, which is my new UV light. You can see quite a bit of luminescent intensity, and it's an easy watch to read in the dark. Not the chronograph functions, but you can easily read the time in the dark. Now, the dial includes a complete calendar with a double quick set function, so I'll show you that. One quick set operates the moon face. That is intermediate crown position clockwise that quick sets the moon phase. Now we have a quick set for the date. You can see how that also drives the month. So this is very user friendly. There's also a hacking seconds function. And then we have coaxial running seconds, sans chronograph, along with a 24 hour indicator. And I really need to be clear, that is a 24 hour indicator. So for example, I can see that this is currently 8 p.m because it's pointing to 20. So that is not a second time zone, that's not a GMT, so just don't be confused by that. There's some nice detailing here, including blued hands for the sub-registers, a lunette-style radial date, a matte finish with white on black printing, blackened hour and minute hands, polished chapter rings for each of the sub-registers, and then a snailing concentric pattern inside of each. When I first picked this watch up, I took a look at the balance because that's usually how you can quickly discern the quality of a balance. Those splayed spokes generally mean top or chronometer grade, and indeed this movement is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. We have a white gold mass, it's 7751, so unidirectional winding with a 42 hour power reserve. It's well tuned with a crisp cam action and a feature that's kind of germane to 7750s. It's not often discussed, but these are oscillating pinion lateral clutches. And oscillating pinions, if you press and hold, you'll note there's almost no jump or external movement to the chronograph seconds hand. You can see how it just starts seamlessly like a vertical clutch. Oscillating pinions have very little play, and that's been one of the long-time advantages of the 7750 architecture. It's something we're seeing more and more on high-end chronographs from De Batoon, Richard Mille, F. P. Journe, but you can find it on every 7750 base. 25 joules, chronometer certified, five position adjusted, four hertz beat rate, and of course it has the quick sets, the hacking, and the triple calendar function. All of this is water resistant down to 30 meters. So while it's a sporty dress watch, it is nevertheless a dress watch with an unbelievable family story behind it and the wonderful father and son design team that coined this specific model. A 100 piece limited edition, individually numbered, a really cool piece. I mentioned it has a couple of names. Just remember this is reference 3986S and that has not changed over time. Reach out to me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Hi, I have one more observation to share. Someone's gonna ask, and I should preemptively answer, what does Swiss DNA mean? Well, Walden International historically had factories and offices in Switzerland and then business offices, sales-oriented offices in the United States out of New York. Recently, actual buildup of the watches, regulation and quality control, has moved the United States out of New York. So this watch is still made of high-grade Swiss parts, and they are high-grade Swiss parts, but, the actual assembly is done in the United States. That's a lot of added value. And if you're cheering the comeback of American horology, you're gonna find this quite appealing. There are other elements. The closer you get to this watch, the more you appreciate the details. Take a look at the numerals. They're solid blocks of superluminova luminant. So while it appears printed from arm's length, it's actually an applique numeral dial. And if you get close to the hands, you can see that they've been given a frosted black coating that matches the matte black granular frosting of the dial itself. The closer you get to this watch, the more you appreciate it and the more you notice.